Holy cow, Diane. Can you believe it? Our 300th logo shoot. We have come so very far, as a studio. It's taking some time for it to sink in, Matt. You and I have been through a lot together, these past few years. And through 299 logo shoots. It took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, to get to this point. And I've been with Matt, working on these logo shoots, since day one. I remember when we started doing this, from very humble beginnings. And I certainly feel thankful that you invited me along for the ride two years ago. There is nowhere to go but up from here on out. Let's certainly hope we have 300 more of these logos as we increase our business. If God's willing to give us more, we certainly will, Janet. By the way, the logo we're doing today is the 1975 Universal Television logo. The Evil Globe should be showing up any time to do that logo shoot. You're right, Deke. It's 10.45 right now, and he said he'd be here by 11 a.m. Oh wait, I hear something coming. Hey, Evil. You're early. You know what? That's okay with us. We're just in here celebrating the fact that you will be joining us for the 300th logo shoot today. I'm real glad to be here, Janet. You are looking very lovely in green today. Ah, thank you, Yuni. You're such a gentleman. Yeah. When he's not eating an over excessive amount of food. <laughs> Ah, whatever. You're right, Uni. Janet does look lovely, in that green dress she wore to work today. I guess St. Patty's Day, came a little early for her. <laughs> it's just a coincidence that I came in wearing green today. Ah, whatever. <laughs> By the way, Matt, congratulations to you and the team at Elkins in Boxing on your 300th logo. Me and my friend Becky and the staff of Bex Star Media are big fans of your work. Thank you, Eddie. And we certainly enjoy watching the content from Beck Star Media, and Evil Globe Enterprises as well. Including, the Zig and Zag React series. And the Beck Star version, of Logo Bloopers. Alright. It's time for us to begin our logo shoot. Uni. Can you go ahead, and change into your logo form? I certainly can, Diane. Presto change Ouch. Changing into my logo form isn't as easy as it once was. I think I pulled my spleen doing that. Okay. Now that Eddie has changed into his logo form, let's give this a try. Roll camera. Q, our 300th logo, the 1975 Universal Television Evil Globe logo, in 3, 2, one. Cut and print. Great Zeus. I can't believe it. We got that one in on the first take. That is just what we needed, on a day like this. And it's our 300th logo shoot too. Normally, when any evil is involved, he always tends to screw things up. I don't think anything could possibly go wrong now. Hold it. Stop right there. Cease and desist right now. Or maybe I spoke too soon. Uh. 
Um, pardon me young lady. But we're kind of busy right now. Please wait in the lobby. Silence, you fool. I'm staying here, in this studio. I'm bringing this big budget production to a halt. There's some business I have to take care of. Let me handle this. I know who she is. Her name, is the uh, I want. The uh, used to work with me back when Deke Entertainment, became the incredible world of Deke, in 2001. I would always stand in front of her, whenever we did our logo. That was before, Andy Hayward, sold the company, to Cookie Jar Group, and Deke, went out of business. I have not been able to find a job, since. Well, you could have came here and worked for me. We are always recruiting logos. If you don't mind me asking you, see ya, just what kind of business do you have to take care of? It involves any evil over there. I dated him for three years, from 2002 until 2005. And now I've come to take him back. Forget about it, weirdo. You are too crazy for me. That's why I broke up with you in 2005. That's not true, Eddie Boo. You cheated on me with another Globe logo. And then you left me, and I was very sad and depressed. I took up drinking to get you off my mind. I spent every night and day thinking about you. That's why I left you. You are drinking way too much. Plus, you are very annoying. You won't stop singing, and it sounds very terrible. Plus, you couldn't keep your hands off of me. You kept punching me and hitting me. I couldn't take the bruising. Plus, you kept threatening to run into me at full speed. Why would you want to do that? It's because I love you. And I want to be with you forever. Now come here and hug me, you big handsome globe you. Wait. No. Stop. Don't do it. Please. Oh, oh. My instinct tells me that something very similar to this happened 4.5 billion years ago. God. Please tell me this isn't happening. And from this ring, a ball forms. Over 2,000 miles wide. It's the birth, of our moon. Holy heck a -rooney. I can't believe the evil globe has his own moon now! Just like the ancient prophecy foretold, a long time ago. <laughs> Greetings, citizens. I am very happy to have just been born. My name is Luna, and I'm very pleased to meet you all.
We are pleased to meet you too, Luna. You look so very cute, and so beautiful, just like the real moon. Thank you very much. You look very beautiful as well, pretty lady. Wait a minute. If I have a moon around me now, what happened to see it? Unfortunately, the uh, was much smaller than you. So when she collided into you, she broke apart. Not only did she break apart, but broke pieces of you off, and those pieces of you, including some of her remains, formed your moon. Then your gravity, pulled the leftover pieces of you, including, half of the us remains, and fused them onto you. So basically, she gave up her life, to crash into me, to create my own natural satellite. Oh well, I'm sure she's smiling down from Logo Heaven right now, since she accomplished her mission. Before we go home, can you buy me an American flag to put on top of my head? <laughs> well, I guess since Eddie has a moon now, we have no choice but to reshoot his logo. Let's go ahead and do another take. Roll camera. Cue the Universal Television logo with its new moon. In 3, 2, 1. Cut and print. Good job again, Uni. And good job to you too, Luna, on your very first logo shoot. Thank you, Diane. I'm sorry we had to do that one over. But that's just the way it goes sometimes. Hey, that was pretty cool. I do hope the camera got the bright side of me and not my dark side. If the camera did show your dark side, then you would be, forgive the pun, mooning us. <laughs> I'm glad that Uni has his own moon now. But still, I just feel awful, about what happened to my friend, the uh. She was a great friend and colleague. We did a lot together. I'm really gonna miss her. I'm sorry your good friend and former colleague died today, Deke. I feel bad for you. Hey, how about in celebration of our 300th logo shoot, we all head to Empire Pizza for lunch. I know that you, me, and Luna will enjoy that. Did you say pizza? Oh boy, you need love pizza. Pizza, 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 pizza. Hee hee hee. I'm gonna love pizza too. Pizza, 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 pizza. Hee hee hee. So wait, you're telling me, that when two planets collide with each other, the smaller one dies, and the gravity, from the larger planet, takes the pieces of the two planets, to form a moon? And what's left over, falls to the dominant planet? That just doesn't seem logical. Not logical to me. They never taught me this, when I was in school. I didn't know about this until the internet was invented. I always thought someone just shot a big ball of dust into the sky. But still, I don't believe in this Big Bang crap. Or evolution for that matter. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, for this special 300th episode, of Logo Bloopers. And we hope that you will join us, 
for the next 300 episodes.